Developing right now, the United Methodist Church is considering a split. They are indeed this as the church battles with conflicting views on issues like same-sex marriage. News Force Forrest Sanders spent the day looking at what a split could mean for churchgoers. Right now, the signs outside West End United Methodist read, God loves everyone unconditionally. A few blocks away, a rainbow flag is permanently outside Belmont United Methodist. Paired with the message, all are welcome. Several local Methodist churches have a history of supporting the LGBT community. Last year, Pastor Paul Perdue of Belmont United Methodist was among the Tennessee faith leaders to sign a statement against a group of bills. The statement said the six bills demean the LGBT community. When you begin to classify and alienate and deny basic rights to people, that's unjust and we need to speak out against it. But all these signs are now here at a time the church is struggling with conflicting views on issues like same-sex marriage and LGBT people becoming clergy. This is the nine-page proposal that's been introduced to possibly split the United Methodist Church over the matter. It would have the church's general counsel giving $25 million over four years to what they're calling the new traditionalist denomination. But this is only a proposal for now, and is set to be voted on at a conference this May. Bishop William McAlilly is of the Episcopal area of the United Methodist Church. He's released a statement saying in part, I recognize that for many this report is received with some measure of anxiety. Change, and especially talk of separation, is daunting. Yet it's heartening that persons of very diverse views have come together to do this serious work and have listened to and heard each other. In Nashville, I'm Forrest Sanders, News 4.